Division Collision. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to bend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bam Bam! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the strikers to carry them to victory. Leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab. You can see his opponent's head on the back every time it's in. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. His double leg shot. Oh, man, the canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, wow, his leg kick's already taking effect. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Single collar tie now. 
Left hand points to the clinch. Nice job punishing with those knees to the body there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takeout. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, huge kick to the body. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Very, very, very explosive. Oh, big punch land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Horn sounds for the end of round one. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight has long, it starts to pay itself off. Big Paul punch lands. Now we get back to range. What a body kick. Visibly limping here. He's going every part of himself. Big leg kick. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Big body kick. Straight punch lands. Well, he's so nicely done with the trip there. Close guard. Three minutes now to go in round two. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, single power tie here. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Well, his corner was... Back with that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Wow, what a fight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice and nice. What a Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, that's a nice fight. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is... Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he had that over Third and final round here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Shot land. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Collar tie here. Nice loop and punch. Just takes his punch. He's shot every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh!